Well, President Ronald Reagan shook the world nearly 30 years ago when he stood on the side of freedom in East Berlin with this now famous message for the communist leader of the Soviet Union. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Three decades later, it's a very different world. President Obama now standing beside a communist dictator with his own message for leaders of the United States Congress. I continue to call on Congress to lift the trade embargo. John Stossel says President Obama got it right. You thought what he did was good? Yes, when something doesn't work for 55 years, it's time to stop doing it. And Reagan was talking about taking down your wall. We put up our own wall against American citizens taking our freedom. You can't travel, you can't sell things to them. It hasn't worked. And it's true what some American politicians say. It's the money's just going to go to the Castro brothers. But openness works better. Yeah, but aren't, aren't, aren't we rewarding a repressive communist dictatorship? I mean, the other day, uh, uh, Castro said, oh, we don't have any political dissidents. Right. Like the day after they arrested a couple dozen of them. They lie, they kill, but w oh, we're partners. But we're helping them because by doing this, they can say, Socialism works. It's just America's boycott that John, makes you poor. What about it's your fault. What about the message it's sending to the people who had to leave Cuba, who had to flee? What about the people that are in prison there? Well, I don't know how an embargo helps them. The embargo hasn't helped them for 55 years. A lot of them say, don't lift it, but it's about 50-50 now with the Cuban Well, I files. agree. I actually agree with you on the policy side, but how disgusting is the symbolism? Why couldn't the president have gotten up and said, in order to undermine your evil regime, we're going to let Starbucks in? Instead, he sucks up to them. Well, that's true. And also when uh, Castro said, you don't have human rights either when you don't have equal opportunity. Oh, and, and he said, he has a point. That was disgusting. But the boycott is disgusting, too, and it lets them blame us for their poverty. I mean, in America, people think socialism is good. They're buying these Che T-shirts. You know, let Americans go down to Cuba and see what socialism yeah. right. is really like. Exactly. John, thank you very much for bringing that from your closet. <laughs> well, I'm annoyed that they wear these. He's a mass I know, murderer. I know. Absolutely. We're going to be watching John's <laughs> program tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern over on Fox Business. John, thank you. Thanks, John.